Hello everyone, this is Black Sarah, and I am here to just do a quick um check-in for the collective. I did a reading this morning, but I feel the need to do another one. So I'm gonna try to keep this one short. Let me see positive changes you guys can expect between now and like the next 24 hours. So I'm gonna pull three. All right, so retirement. So something going on with retirement. We got so variety, get some rest. Welcome to new sentimental feelings and join in. For some of you guys, you might decide not to join in or somebody else's not gonna join in. And it's a positive change. So something going on with retirement. Spiritual growth. Religion and spirituality. So collective, somebody could have been trying to negatively impact your retirement because maybe you and this other person can have um, different um, spiritual and religious beliefs. Or um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing you're going to change your perspective about your retirement because you're going to realize something. So some of y'all might change your perspective about your retirement. But because of this spiritual growth, you're going to have a higher perspective or a higher perception of something. For other you guys, I'm picking up um, somebody was trying to affect your retirement in a negative way because of religion or spirituality. So somebody in the business arena or in your career um, was uh, doing something um, uh, personal to you. So somebody was trying to expect, somebody was trying to neg negatively impact your retirement. They took something on a personal level when, they, when they, that was unnecessary. If something going on in your work environment or the business arena. So, I heard somebody took something way too far. So, somebody might leave y'all alone, or this person that was trying to negatively affect your retirement could be getting karma. So, collective, for some of you guys, I heard um, y'all been in, like, a, a long battle. And something is finally over, or somebody could have did something to you in the past. And, collective, you, like, knew deep down that you would get karmic justice. So between now and the next 24 hours, you're going to you're going to get some type of karmic justice surrounding your retirement. So some of y'all some retirement benefits could have been held up or something. So y'all might uh some monies or something might get released to y'all between now and the next 24 hours. Or y'all could have, like, took a leap of faith. Y'all could have been manifesting something. Yeah. So you're going to see a positive change regarding your religion and spirituality or somebody else's spiritual growth and or something about retirement. Something could have been going on. Regarding like racism, prejudicism, or like discrimination. So this could this could discrimination of some sort could be like culturally or regarding spirituality or religion. All right, let me get a message from the guy. So if somebody was putting you under scrutiny or some type of attack or was trying to cause you an injustice regarding your retirement due to your like ethnicity or your religious or spiritual practices, you guys are going to see positive changes regarding that. So something is like really over. So something, some type of death is really over. So something is not an illusion. Something is over. So collective... Um, I'm hearing, like, the final verdict and, like, somebody can't go back. So, this could be a court case. This could be legalities. 
and it's like the verdict is in or whatever it is and it's like somebody want to try to offend you again but something is like over and it's not an illusion so collective somebody in your energy could be in denial about something like something is over and it's not an illusion I also heard somebody might lose their mind. Somebody could have caused like um physical harm to someone. And this person might lose their mind. So I'll pick that up too. Collective is not you, it's somebody else in your energy or something. Um I also heard collective if somebody was trying to cause you a death. It's not going to happen, and it's, it's real. So somebody could have tried to cause you some type of, like, a physical death, emotional death, a financial death. It didn't work. So somebody might be in unbelief that their offense against you didn't work or something like that. And something is not an, an illusion. So, collective, I'm going to give you an example. This could be somebody doing a breakup spell. And it's like... Somebody might get in contact with you or your lover's third party is going to get in contact with your lover. And somebody want to know if somebody divorced or broken up. And it's like this person going to get a no and then they going to be shocked. Or somebody going to think somebody lying. But something really didn't work. Somebody was trying to cause somebody death. And it's not an illusion. For, yeah. Somebody might also get good news. Collective, somebody you know. So, some maybe somebody thought somebody was dead or something was dead. And this person going to find out that it's not. So, collective, somebody you connected to might get good news. That something is not over. For some of y'all, this could have been a co-worker. For some of you guys, I heard something was held up for you. Because of a co-worker. So collective, maybe like your boss or something had to sign off on something. And you couldn't proceed until you got a signature. But it's like something could have been going on with your boss. So it's like somebody going to be able to like get back to you and sign the paperwork. So you can carry on with what you was doing or something like that. Spirit, give me a message for the collective. For today. A message from the gods. Yeah, be yourself. Yeah. So collect the be yourself. Collective, I heard somebody wants you to be something you're not. So they so this person could make a lie look true. So collect the be yourself. So I'm gonna give y'all an example. This is what spirit. The example spirit told me to give. Collective, say like your lover is like abusive. And when you out in public, you don't like to be affectionate towards your lover. Because they're abusive when y'all like at home. And all of a sudden, maybe today, your lover want y'all to hold hands and stuff like that. But it's for a reason, Collective. So it's like collective be yourself. If you didn't, or if you're uncomfortable with something somebody's trying to make you do, don't do it. I'm also hearing listen to your intuition. Because somebody lied about something and they're trying to make their lie appear to be true unbeknownst to you. So be yourself. So collective, somebody, this could be your father or something or uh, whoever. I'm giving a couple as an example. Collective, your father could have went and asked your lover, you know, how my daughter doing? You treating her right and stuff like that. And your lover was like, yeah, everything fine and this is and that. But it's like collective, if you don't show your lover on a normal basis, if you don't show your lover affection, like out in public, don't do it today. Because it's like your lover could be telling people that everything good and there's nothing wrong with you or something like that. When something could be wrong with you or something like that. 
So be yourself, whatever this is. Yeah, kindness counts. Yeah. Oh, okay. So collective, I heard someone is holding resentment against you. But they don't want people to know. So collective, if somebody be mean and rude to you in private... And they try to switch up on you when people around or something. It's like, keep keep that same energy. Something like that going on. So collective, don't trust somebody's kindness. If people around or something. Because somebody could have been saying something that wasn't true or something. So, Collective, you probably don't get along with somebody or somebody may be mistreating you. And this person telling people that everything all good or something like that between you and this person or something like that. Because, Collective, you be trying to be kind to someone. And this person don't like your kindness. But it's like all of a sudden today, it's like this person... It's going to be like fake nice to you or something. So be yourself. Or collective, this could be your ex. If you don't um deal with your ex on a regular basis or it's like your ex want people to think y'all still messing around. But it's like your ex be mean to you. And like all of a sudden today your ex might call you. Somebody could be on the other end of the phone or something. So if you don't get along with somebody on a normal day, and it's like somebody behavior just switch up, collective be yourself. Or collective, somebody wants you to be mean to them because they're mean to you or something. But your kindness do count. Or somebody boss or something is mean or be discriminating. So collective, for some of you guys today at work, your boss's boss could be at the job. Or collective, you're on a normal day, you're usually kind. And you might be kind in front of someone and somebody going to say, oh, you being fake and phony because you being nice to somebody. But it's like you're something like that going on. Something could be going on with the throat chakra. Yeah, except struggles as lessons. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody struggling. So this could be financially, mentally, emotionally. Collector, somebody could be struggling to defeat you. Or struggling to get you to cooperate with them. But it's a lesson for this person. Yeah, so collector, this person in your energy should accept struggles as lessons and be yourself. So whether you distant from this person or you nice to this person, whatever you do on an everyday basis, don't switch it up um, today. Because somebody is saying something that's not true or somebody wants something to look a certain type of way or something. Mm -mm. For some of y'all, this is a stranger. A stranger could be doing something. So that people can think y'all know each other. So collective, this could be a stranger telling people y'all dating and you don't know this person telling people y'all dating. Or collective, this stranger want to offend you like later on today or later on down the line in time. So it's like this people, this person want people to think y'all cool or y'all know each other or something. So for some of y'all, this is a stranger. So, collective, if you normally don't talk to strangers, don't start today or something like that. Somebody could be saying, oh, you being mean, you being hateful. But, collective, you could be picking up something intuitively. And it don't got to be you being mean and being hateful. You're being intuitive. And this person is struggling to deceive you. <coughs> or somebody's struggling to mask their energy. Yeah, have an attitude of gratitude. Yeah. So, for some of y'all, this is somebody you know. So, collective, somebody in, in your energy wants something from you. But you could have already gave this, some, this person something in the past. And they want more of it or something. So, whatever you did for this person in the past, 
they should have an attitude of gratitude or somebody feel as though you owe them something and you really don't. You really don't, collective. So be yourself. So this could be your ex-spouse. So y'all ex-spouse want spousal privileges or spousal respect. And it's like this person, your ex or something. I heard somebody say, oh, you not going to speak to me? Or something. Collector, somebody want you to speak to them? Or something. So, collective, this could be somebody that could have offended you. And you could be cordial with this person, but you probably don't speak to them. And somebody's trying to make you speak to them. And they don't appreciate you being cordial. Or it's like, collective, you say hi to this person. Then this person, like, oh, if you say hi, you better say bye. Or something somebody doing. It's like, collective, you really don't got to speak to this person if you don't want to. Or it's like you don't know somebody. It's somebody, somebody wanted to look like you know them or something like that. So y'all be careful of a stranger. So collective, you was being kind to someone, but they want more than your kindness. Yeah. Collective, your kindness counts. So, collective, maybe you could have waved at somebody and they want you to say hi or somebody like, no, give me a kiss or give me a hug or something. Collective, a high is sufficient. It's like you don't need to kiss this person or hug this person or something like that. Yeah, y'all being kind to somebody, but they want more. Or something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, collective, for some of you guys, you could be confronting someone that don't want to be confronted. And collective, your kindness is maybe in the past you didn't say nothing. So you was being kind to someone. So y'all could be confronting somebody too. And somebody be like, somebody could be saying, uh-uh, get out my face, get out my face or something. So collective, for some of you guys, somebody could have been provoking you. And you finally did what, you, what this person wanted you to do. And then they're going to try to shut you out or something like that. Or something. So somebody could have been provoking y'all too. Collective, for some of y'all, this is a stranger. So some of y'all, y'all might ask somebody, is there a problem? Like, do you know me? So, collective, for some of you guys, you might embarrass somebody in, like, front of their friends or something. Because this person was saying stuff about you that's not true. Or this person was saying they slept with you or they know you or something. So, it's like when you go confront this person, this person going to say, get out of here. Because they don't want people to know that they were lying or something like that. So, collective, you might say, do I know you? Is there a problem or something like that? So I don't know who this person is. For some of y'all heard this a stranger. Or collective, this person could have been waving at you. And you might walk up to this person and say, do I know you? And this person going to say, get out of here. <laughs> somebody wanted somebody to think that y'all knew each other or something. So I heard that too. Y'all might embarrass somebody in front of someone because they was lying on you. So, collective, be yourself. I also heard a troublemaker. So, about somebody could be a troublemaker, too. Yeah, somebody could be a narcissist or somebody a troublemaker. Yeah. So, collective, for some of y'all, y'all might find out um, that somebody's a troublemaker or a narcissist or can have mental health issues. For some of y'all, this is a co-worker. So, collective, say like you're dealing with a potential lover or a co-worker. And this person walked up to you and asked you, did you want to exchange numbers? Hi. I heard, hi, hi, nice to meet you. 
and this person tell you to call them later. And then when you call this person, they making it seem like you harassing them or something. Like something like that. But collective, you was just being yourself. Somebody gonna say, oh, I don't know you. Why you keep calling my phone? I don't even know you or something. So collective, y'all could have been being friendly or something. Because this person could have approached you or you could have approached this person or something like that. Or collective, for some of you guys, it could have been somebody trying to talk to you on a romantic level. And this person's spouse might show up out the blue. And this, somebody going to act like they don't know you or something. But it's good because you're going to see this person's true colors. So, Collector, for some of you guys, this potential lover or whoever this person is, they probably wanted you for financial purposes. Collector, for some of you guys, I heard you was going to give this person some money. But it's like this person's spouse or something going to show up. And this person going to act like they don't know you. This person is struggling for a reason. Collector, for some of you guys, this person could have, be on drugs you didn't know. Or something like that. Somebody struggling is for a reason. It's a lesson in somebody struggling. Either way it go, I'm picking up somebody gonna, like going to get caught. Yeah, go. So, collective, you could be a goal-oriented person. And um, you could be calling somebody because they told you to call them back. And, collective, this person, when you call them... They're going to say, what you calling me for or something? You was like, I'm calling you because you told me to call you. Or we got to finish the job or we got to do this or we got to do that. So y'all be careful of an unprofessional, a karmic coworker. Collective, for some of you guys, something could be going on at work. And you're going to call this person and they're going to make it look like you flirting with them to their lover. <laughs> but collective, you're just a goal-oriented person. And somebody might take something to a totally different level. Purpose, expectation, destination. So somebody a narcissist. Somebody could be a narcissist. Withdraw and reverse. It came out in reverse. Yeah. So somebody's not going to quit. Somebody's not going to get rejected. Yeah. So somebody, somebody could have been trying to get y'all to uh, quit. Collective, this could be your competitor posing as a lover, but somebody could really be a competitor. And this person, for some of y'all, could be posing as a lover. And they wanted to take your spot or something. Or collective, somebody wants you to walk off the job. Somebody wants you to quit. Because you could be a goal-oriented person. So somebody wants y'all to get rejected or quit. Quit. It's like you didn't withdraw from something because you're a goal-oriented person or something. Yeah. Yeah, stubborn, yeah. So y'all could be very stubborn in all the right ways. So this is like a good stubborn. So self, selfness, selfness, mutish attitude, arrogance. Or collective, somebody was telling you to stop and you wouldn't. And you could be dealing with an arrogant person. And this person was telling you to stop and you wouldn't. Collective, when you ask this person why, this person was like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. This person could be a troublemaker. So, Collective, y'all could have been doing something that you were supposed to do or you was doing something, but it wasn't an issue. And then when you could have asked this person a question, they was like, oh, get away from me. I don't... Somebody is being extra or something like that. 
Or collective, you gonna call somebody's phone and, and they gonna say, why you calling me or something? After this person told you to call them or something. Yeah, an apology, yeah. So collective, somebody wants you to apologize about something that you're that you should not apologize about. Or collective, you wasn't doing anything wrong because you're only a goal oriented person. And this person actually owe you an apology because you wasn't doing nothing wrong. Or somebody's trying to make you apologize about something that you shouldn't apologize about. So this goal oriented person. Wanted you to appear guilty or somebody wanted you to confess something or apologize to them. So collective for some of you guys, y'all could be stubborn in all the right ways as well. Or collective, it's like you advocating for yourself. You could be standing up for yourself. And collective, you saying to this person, okay, if you won't stop, I won't because I didn't do nothing to you. So why I got to stop? Or something like that. So collective, you like, I don't want to hear it. Or something like that. Or something. So somebody could be trying to get you to quit your job or something. Or something. Well, collective, this is like somebody doing spell work on you. And every time they do spell work on you, you protect yourself. And collective, you like, oh, we could do this all day. If you keep on offending me, I'm going to keep on protecting myself. If you don't want me to protect myself, stop trying to offend me. Like something like that going on. It's like somebody wants you to stop doing something. And like let them offend you or something. Withdraw and reverse. So for some of y'all, y'all could be dealing with an ex-spouse. I heard an ex-wife. It's like this person wanted to be how it was when y'all was married or something. Yeah, collaboration, yeah. Or collective, somebody saying you can't see the kids without me. Or you only can go to work when they're at work or something. Somebody wanted y'all to stop doing this collaboration. So collective, this could be the person you have kids with. Or you could be dealing with like with a karmic lover. Or your child's mother or child's father. Somebody don't want somebody to do a collaboration. And collective, you like, I'm not stopping. And this person like, well, I'm not neither. So y'all could be feuding over a lover or somebody saying, oh, you can't see the kids unless I'm there. Or collective, your boss or something could be targeting you. And your boss is trying to fix the situation so they can keep an eye on you that you only at work when they're there. Or something. Somebody could be trying to treat you like you a child or something. So, collective, say like is you, you know, the employees, and you got four bosses. One of your bosses want to target you, and they're telling your other three bosses, don't put the collective on your schedule. The collective will only work when I'm on on schedule, because I'm keeping an eye on a collective or something. Something somebody was doing. But it's like this person really wants you to quit or something. Yeah, curse, yeah. Collective, somebody could be trying to make it look like you're cursed or this arrogant person is cursed or somebody trying to curse you and you like, I don't want to hear that. I don't have to listen to it because it's a curse. So collective, somebody could be doing spell work on you or um doing reverse psychology or something. Yeah. It's like collective, you don't have to accept everything or receive everything. And you like, no, because it's a curse. Or somebody hates you or some type of misfortune. Fortune. Somebody could be causing you, trying to cause you a misfortune. And it was this person's goal to cause you a misfortune. A misfortune. 
And you like, I don't have to listen to you talk to me like that. I don't have to sit here and put up with this or something. Or something. Or this person that's being arrogant, that's in a low vibration, could be cursed. Collective, if somebody's doing something to you for no good reason, this person is cursed. This person is cursed if they're offending you for no reason. No good reason. No, no. It's like you didn't provoke this person. This person cursed. So somebody could have targeted you because they're cursed. Or somebody was trying to get you to quit your job or get somebody to fire you. Or somebody don't want you around your kids or something. Or something like that. All right, Spirit, give me tarot. Give me messages for today. Yeah, the Five of Cups, the High Priestess, yep. Collective, you could be a High Priestess. So this could be a karmic lover y'all was dealing with. Collective, for some of you guys, somebody miss you. Y'all could be a Cancer or a Pisces. I heard somebody misses you. Or your karmic lover or your twin or something could be getting karma. Well, collective, you know why somebody keeping secrets. Somebody could have emotional regrets and losses. And you know that somebody keeping secrets or something. So you like the high priestess and you know why somebody five cups. Or collective your five cups because you're picking up something intuitively. So it's like you know somebody hates you. You know somebody racist, prejudice, or something like that. Yeah, somebody got guilty conscience. Yeah, somebody was doing spell work. Yeah. Collective, somebody was trying to cause you heartbreak. Or collective, you know your lover cheating on you or something. Yeah, somebody stuck up or they was doing spell work to cause you heartbreak. So somebody wish fulfillment was that you be heartbroken. But collective, today this person might be nine swords. Yeah. Somebody wish fulfillment was a third party or somebody wish fulfillment was that you be heartbroken. So, collective, y'all could be a Cancer or a Pisces, and y'all could be dealing with a water sign, or you guys are a high priestess, and y'all know why somebody five cups and or nine swords. You know why. So, I heard the unspoken. The unspoken. Yeah, the four wands. Yeah. Mm hmm So, collective, this could be y'all twin, or this is something going on around your living arrangements or your job. So, that five of cups could be a co-worker. But, collective, with the high priestess and the five of cups, it's like you saw that five of cups energy. It's like you knew something was ha going to happen. And that's why you could have stayed at this job or you didn't quit. So, collective, somebody not going to get their way with you. And this person going to be five cups. It's like you was protecting your four wands energy and that high priestess energy. And for some of you guys, y'all saw something coming or y'all knew something was going to happen or something. Or you knew you was going to get karmic justice. Or collective, um, you could be the high priestess. And this could be your ex. It's like they want you to still treat them as if y'all together and you're not. So collective, y'all could be currently in a relationship with y'all twin. And y'all want y'all ex to leave y'all alone. Because you could have caught your ex cheating. Or something. Well, this could be y'all own twin that did something. Clarify the six of cups. I mean, the five of cups. 
I hate me again. So somebody could be a Pisces. Or somebody in jail. Or collective, somebody today is going to be enlightened about something. Or somebody don't like the fact that you was enlightened about something. Or today, this person is going to be enlightened about something. So, collective, for some of y'all, this could be your twin. And your twin chose the wrong lover. And your twin, five cups. So, y'all twin could have left y'all for somebody. Yeah. Somebody was trying to prove a point. Somebody was trying to prove a point. And something like backfire or the tables is going to turn. So collective, this is like somebody that's trying to get you evicted. But what's going to happen today is like this person need a place to stay. Like the same person that was trying to get you evicted. It's like this person need a place to stay. Somebody that was trying to get you evicted or something. Or something. Or collective, somebody's going to be enlightened that you didn't lose your job. You're still the four wands. You're still stable. You didn't lose your housing. You didn't lose your cool. Or somebody's um, intimidated that you're a high priestess. It's like this person already know you know or something. I heard, but what hurt this person the most is that you won't say anything. That's what bothers this person, that you won't say nothing. Yeah, the page of cups, yeah. Collective, for some of you guys, you the third party. And this could be your twin. Your twin could be married to the karmic. Collective, for some of you guys, your twin was lying to you. And you could be pregnant. And collective, you could be saying to your twin, what you crying about? If you ain't keeping no secrets, why are you crying? But it's like collective, your twin could be married to the karmic. And you pregnant. And it's like collective, you ain't saying nothing. Because something is getting exposed. And collective, now you know for sure you the other woman. Because this page of cups. So you could be pregnant. And your twin or something might just switch up on you. And you was like, yeah, that's what I thought. You liar. Or something like that. Yeah, the double. Yeah. Or collective, your twin. It's like they don't, they don't even know what to say. Or collective, you knew that somebody was trying to make you apologize. Or somebody wanted you to respond in an emotionally immature way. So it's like somebody wanted you to look like the Page of Cups. But it's like you being a high priestess, you like, um, you're the Page of Cups and I know it. So stop trying to make me look like the Page of Cups when I know you want me to be the Page of Cups when you really the Page of Cups or something. So somebody wanted it to look to look like you're emotionally immature, but you're actually the four wands. And it's like collective, you like, I'm not gonna say nothing about my four wands. I'm gonna protect my four wands. So it's like why this person was trying to make you look like the page. You was the four wands. But it's like collective, you ain't say nothing. The high priestess. Because it's like collective, if you would have said something, you wouldn't have been able to protect your four wands. It's best that you was the high priestess, that you didn't say nothing. Because if you would have said something, it's like this person would have like destroyed your four wands or something. Yeah, so somebody is five cups because you the high priestess, you didn't say nothing. Or you didn't respond to this person. Or you didn't respond the way this person thought you would. Or something. <clears throat> Collective. For some of y'all that um 
five of cups is y'all twin. And they was lying to you about something. And it could have been that they was married. But this person could be your twin or something. Or this person, the same person that was trying to get you evicted. So collective, say like this person was trying to get you evicted. It's like today this person going to lose their housing. Or it's like somebody was trying to get you fired, but this person need money from you or something. Or something like that. Or collective, somebody was like calling you a liar at work. And it's like this person's spouse going to come up to the job. And collective, you just going to be looking like, oh, really? I'm the liar? You, you ain't telling nobody you was married or something like that. Yeah, or something. Yeah, so for some of y'all, this Five of Cups could be a co-worker. And collective, I heard this person was on your neck, on your heels, gossiping about you, talking about you, telling people you a liar, you can't be trusted, scrutinizing you. And something gonna happen at work today. Or something like that. Clarify the high priestess. Yeah, that's in a wand here. Yeah, collective, somebody was offending you and offending you and offending you. And, um, collective, somebody could have been trying to make it seem like you're afraid of them. But it wasn't that you're the page of cups. You was just burdened. Because somebody could just be foolish or stupid. And collective, somebody was like, oh, the collective scared of me. Look at them, look at them. But collective, you was just burdened. You're not the page of cups. You're just burdened. Or collective, you could have been crying or something, but you wasn't talking. And now somebody going to realize why. Somebody might realize why. So this ten of, collective, you could have been crying at Ten of Wands, but you wasn't saying nothing. Yeah. Clear by the four of um, wands. Well, collective, you intuitively know why this person crying. Or why they're burdened. And you won't say nothing. So this could be your twin. They was lying about being married. And your twin could be miserable and unhappily married. And keeping secrets. So collective, you know why somebody turned wands. Collective, for some of you guys, it's like this person dread to go, this person dreads have that you know the truth, or this person got a backtrack to you. For some of y'all, this was somebody y'all married to. So y'all spouse could have left y'all for a third party, and your spouse might find out the third party cheating on them, and your spouse might come home or something like that. For some of y'all, this could be your child. I heard somebody say, I, I kept the room, I kept the bed warm just for you or something like that. Or collective, you could be like a hiring manager. And one of these employees was trying to get you fired or something. And it's like collective, it's like. You're not going to be as petty as this person. So, collective, maybe the choice is up to you whether this person get fired or not. And you might say, it's up to them. So, collective, it's like this person got to eat their words or swallow their pride. Because maybe they was trying to get you fired. And now it's up to you whether this person keep their job or not or something like that. Something like that. Collective, for some of you guys, y'all work at a shelter. Because I heard I kept the bed warm just for you or something. So, Collective, y'all really a high priestess. And this person could also be mad that you were right about something. So, Collective, you probably work at a shelter and you was telling somebody something. Or, Collective, you could be a CEO. Or you work at a detention center or something and you was trying to tell somebody how to like avoid going back to that full wine. So collective, you could have said, if you don't want to come back to jail or if you don't want to come back to the shelter, 
you got to do this and you got to do that. And this person was like, man, whatever. And this person today is like returning to you or something. Collective, for some of y'all, this is your spouse or your twin. So, Collective, you being a high priestess, you could have told your twin or your spouse, listen. Don't come back. Or Collective, you could have said something to your twin or your spouse before they left you. And you could have said, do your woman like this or do your man like this. And I guarantee you, y'all won't break up. Or Collective, you was telling your ex, I caught you cheating because you used to do this or you did that. When you get in another relationship, don't do this and don't do that. And you're not going to get caught cheating. And it's like Collective, your ex mad because you was right about something. Oh, somebody getting karma? Collective, if this person had you 10 wands in the past, there are 10 wands like today. And Collective, you could be being quiet about this person's karma. Or something. What about a four wands? Well, Collective, if you was this person's spouse in the past, you like the third party in the present. And you don't want to be your uh, ex. You don't want to be your ex's spouse. You, you would prefer to be the third party. You like, mm-mm. Or something like that. But, Collective, this could be your twin. And you like, I don't even want to be the main one no more. I'm all right with being the third party. I heard call me when you need me or something like that. <laughs> so this could be y'all twin. <laughs> Collective, I heard you knew something was going to happen. And you didn't say you didn't say nothing or you're not saying something today. And because you didn't say whatever this is, it's like you're going to get one up over the competition. Or you're going to prove your point exactly because you didn't say anything. <laughs> so, Collective, for some of you guys, if it's a legal case going on, y'all could be burdened. And somebody wanted you to break contract. So, Collective, y'all could be a juror or something. That's what I heard, too, with the high priestess. Y'all on a jury. And collective, somebody was trying to get you to talk about something because they was going to try to get you in trouble. Somebody was trying to get y'all in trouble or something. Collective, you could be burdened and somebody was trying to get you to talk to them, but you wouldn't. So somebody wanted you to talk about a case you're not supposed to talk about or um, something. Somebody wants you to break a rule or something or something. Somebody wanted you to do something. So, yeah, y'all could be a juror or y'all on a jury or something. Or collective, something is going on at work or something. And somebody trying to figure out who did it. And collective, the person that's five of cups was like, I bet the collective did it. I know the collective did it. And collective, it wasn't you. Collective, for some of y'all, this could be your lover. You could be the other woman or the other man. And this person with that's five cups could be married or something. And the person that's five cups that's married swore up and down. You did something because you the other man or the other woman. But it was really this person's spouse. Or something like that. Or collective, you telling somebody as the high priestess. You saying, I don't like you like that. I got a twin. So I don't got to offend you and then lie about it. I'm not going uh, I'm not going to offend you and then lie. So collective as a high priestess, somebody could be asking you something to like prove you're guilty and you're not going to respond. Or you going to say I don't have to lie to you. You're nobody to lie to. Or something like that. Cuz collective y'all can have your own lover. So collective, I heard you love your twin very much. I don't know why y'all why you're not with your twin. But collective, whoever this lover is that's five cups, 
you don't have to lie to this person because you have a lover. Or it's like collective, um, somebody can't get back inside this four wands. So collective, that five of cups could be your competitor in love. Or you gonna fire somebody and tell this person, give me my key or give me your badge. Somebody can't get back in this four wands. I see that too. So collective, this is like you kicking somebody out your house. And you walk them outside and say, you can't come back here and give me my key or give me your badge or something like that. Yeah, I saw that too. So collective, for some of you guys, you the other man or the other woman and your lover's spouse was like in your face or in your energy or something and you're gonna tell somebody to leave so it could have been a conflict of interest and collective you like oh no you don't come up to my job or something or it's like somebody not gonna say nothing they just gonna tell somebody get out of here like i saw somebody pointing like go or get out of here or something like that So, collective, this is like, say like you had a lover and your lover married and your lover lied to you. Collective, your lover's spouse might call you and say something to you. And then your lover going to show up somewhere and you're going to say no. Bye. Get out of here. Or something like that. So, y'all might get a phone call or something. Or something like that. Something like that going on. What about the phone was? I saw somebody going like this, like, pointing, like, you go back out that way. Don't even come in here. Yeah. The Knight of Cups. Yeah. Collective, for some of you guys, you the other man or the other woman. This person has five cups. Is your lover. But you're not your lover's main lover. Collective, you can have the Knight of Cups at your house or the Knight of Cups is your twin. Somebody might get caught cheating, but it's like collective. If you the high priestess, you single. So collective, this could be a lover that's going to get caught cheating and try to come in your energy. But it's like you telling somebody, uh-uh, because the Knight of Cups at my house or something. Or collective, you saying, I'm finna leave or I'm going out on a date. You can't come over here. So collective, this could be your ex-husband or your ex-wife. It's like collective, you divorced this person because they was cheating. Your ex is getting caught cheating and trying to come in your energy. And you like, no, the Knight of Cups in my house. You can't come in my house. Or something like that. So collective, for some of you guys... Your ex or something might unexpectedly come in your energy and you got company or something the Knight of Cups. Or collective, it's people at your house or something. And you gonna tell somebody, like, I don't know. Something like that going on. What's the spill with the Five of Cups and the Hangman? So, it's like, collective, y'all could be protecting the Knight of Cups. Or, collective, your lover from jail is calling you from jail and asking you who you dating or something. Or something. For the clout, yeah. Doing it all for the fame, attention, views, doesn't want to be left alone being fake, yeah. So, collective, um, somebody getting karma... Collective, somebody could have been dating you for the clout. So when y'all was dating, this person could have been clowning you. Or this person married you for money. Or something. Somebody five cups because they was doing something for the clout. This person could also be in jail. Yeah.
all on here. Yep. Collective, you wasn't acting a fool. You wasn't acting a fool. Or collective, somebody's going to say that you said something that you didn't say. You the high priestess. The high priestess don't talk or something like that. So somebody's going to accuse you of saying something that you didn't say. Or collective, somebody did this to you in the past and they getting karma today. Because this person said that you said something that you didn't say. They said it for the clout. <coughs> so somebody lied on y'all for the clout. And collective, you didn't even say what this person said you said. Or you didn't even do what this person said you were doing in the past. And this person getting karma. So collective, if the five of cups is your ex-spouse and your ex said you always cheated on them. This person knew that you wasn't cheating when y'all was married. But y'all could have broke up and your ex got a new lover. And your ex's new lover is cheating on them. Because collective, you wasn't acting a fool. Yeah. What's going on with the, um... Or collective, you could have saw somebody crying. And this person like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't see me crying. And collective, you might just shut up. You gonna shut up. Yeah, because somebody doing something for the clout or something. So collective, you, you, um... Y'all know somebody getting karma, but you not, you're not going to embarrass this person like they're trying to embarrass you. That's what's going on. So collective, if this person embarrassed you in the past or lied on you in the past, that they, they get in karma today, but you're not going to do to them what they did to you. Because y'all the high priestess. What's going on with the four wands the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the second house. So somebody could be a tourist dealing with a tourist or got tourist placements. Yeah. Collector, somebody want to know about your second house or they want access to your second house. And the high priestess is like, I think not. Or collector, somebody wants you to share something with them and you won't. Because you know somebody be mishandling something. This person only do something for the clout. Collective, y'all could be a man. And your homeboy want to date your lover. Y'all probably share women. But you could be in a connection with your twin. Your twin could be a tourist and you like, she's off limits. I don't share her. So, collective, maybe y'all used to share women in the past. Collective, if you a female, you and your friends probably do this too. But it's like, collective, somebody want to sleep around with your lover or something? And you like, no. Because something is not how it was in the past. Or collective, somebody want to mess around with your lover. And this person telling people, I don't know why the collective telling me no when they let me do it in the past. Collective, you didn't let this person do this in the past. Or something. Somebody wants you to share the Knight of Cups. With them. Or somebody want to know what did the Knight of Cups give you in that cup. Or what did he say to you. Or what she said to you. Somebody want to know something. And collective you like. Y'all the high priestess. Y'all not responding to somebody. Because somebody want this second house. Or something. Everything the person in this situation may own and claim as theirs, their money, possessions, their own self-worth. Yeah. So if y'all the high priestess, y'all could be protecting the Knight of Cups or the Four of Wands. Or 
Or it's like somebody having a meeting in the building and somebody's not allowed in. So it's like somebody's having a meeting, but that five of cups is not allowed in. Or collective, your child's mother or child's father be acting up and you won't let them in the building or something. Because it's like your child's mother or child's father be showing off, but they don't even have to. They do it for the clout. So I heard a sweet 16. Or collective, your uh, child or something could be having a meeting at the school. Or your child could be getting drafted for like scholarships, uh, college sports or something. Somebody ain't, is not allowed somewhere. Or collective, maybe your child's mother or child's father didn't help you raise the child. And your child, something could be going on with your child. Um, they could be getting drafted into like sports or something major. Your child is the Knight of Cups. And collective, y'all didn't see y'all child's father or child's mother in like 30 years. And they just going to pop up at the event. And you like, uh-uh. Don't let, don't even let him in here or something like that. Cause somebody be only doing something for the cloud. It's like the five of cups don't really care about that night of cups. So collector, the five of cups could be a narcissist. So you could be saying, where did I go wrong? How did I not know? So y'all child's mother or child's father could be a narcissist. And they're like void of emotion. So it's like when your narcissistic child's mother or child's father come around a child. It's about them or it's about what y'all could give them. It's not about the child. And collective you like, mm-mm. Because -mm. Or it's like collective throughout your child's life. It's like your mo child's mother or child's father used to show up at functions and only take pictures and then leave. And now your child denied a cup. You like, oh no, you ain't getting no picture. No, you, you're not, you're not doing that. It's like somebody used to take pictures and then just leave. So collective denied a cup could be between the ages of like 18 and 25. Or maybe 13 and 25. The Knight of Cups. And collective, you not acting a fool. I heard you have probable probable cause not to let somebody in a building or something like that. Because somebody only be doing something for the cloud. And that Knight of Cups could be your child or something. Or your child's mother or child's father be taking the, the Knight of Cups money or something. Or it's like your child's mother or child's father want to get bonded out of jail or something. And it's like collective, your child's mother or child's father called you. You probably won't even answer the phone. Your child could be like 16. This could be their first job. And the Knight of Cups want to um, use your child's money to get bonded out of jail or something. But it's like the night, this Five of Cups don't even take care of the child. So somebody could be calling y'all. Y'all not going to answer the phone. So y'all could have a narcissistic child's mother or child's father. This person do stuff for the clout or something like that. Somebody could have a delay too. I forgot that hangman. To me sometimes that hangman delayed or something. <laughs> Or that hangman got mental health. <laughs> yeah. Collective, you wasn't acting a fool. Y'all protect... That high priest is, a, is protecting something or someone. Yeah, somebody is regretting doing something for the cloud. Because collective, you didn't deserve... Whatever this person did or is trying to do, you didn't deserve it because you wasn't acting a fool.
What's going on with for the cloud? Or collective is like you could be taking something personal and spirit want me to tell you it wasn't personal. You could have just ran across a narcissist. Y'all could have married a narcissist, had kids by a narcissist. Or collective, somebody don't like you because you the high priestess. So this could be your religion or spirituality. This could be some type of discrimination. Yeah. The high priestess. Or collective, somebody didn't like you because you're not married. You could be the other woman. Or you have kids, but you're not married. So somebody offended you. Somebody did something for the clout. This could be something discrimin some type of discrimination going on too. Yeah. Yeah. So collective, say like you like a minority and you're not married, but you keep yourself together. Um or um collective, you could be African American and you're not married but you have kids. And it's like whoever in that five of cups it's like this person stereotyped you for nothing. It's like collective. You wasn't acting ghetto. You wasn't behaving ghetto. Um, you didn't talk much. And this person still offended you. And it could be because they knew a little bit about you. It could have been that you the high priestess. So y'all can have a child or something and you're not married. So this hangman could also be older than you or something. Collective, you wasn't acting a fool. So, Collective, maybe somebody want to offend the Knight of Cups like they offended you. And you like, no, you're not offending the Knight of Cups. So, Collective, somebody want to disrespect your lover or disrespect your child, how they disrespected you. Or, Collective, somebody is trying to help you. And this person that be disrespecting you is trying to get in contact with the Knight of Cups. Because they, they're trying to convince the Knight of Cups not to help you. Or somebody saying you don't deserve to be the Knight of Cups or something to somebody else or something. Yeah. Yeah, so somebody could be a Scorpio. Somebody could, somebody could be a Scorpio with Pisces placements. Or somebody got Pisces or Scorpio in their 8th house. It's the ending to somebody doing something for the clout. Or somebody offended you because you ended something with them. Like in the past. But this person getting a karma today. What's going on with acting a fool in reverse? Yeah, ignored. So collective, somebody might feel ignored by you. Or this person ignored you in the past. So you, you might ignore this person today. So y'all could have ignored someone. So collective, say like your ex is in jail. And you know your ex is calling because they want money on the books. And your ex is aware that your child got some money. It's like collective, you probably don't got no money. But your child got money the night of cups. So... Collective, say like your ex calling from jail, you ain't answer the phone. Next thing you know, you getting a phone call from your mother-in-law, your father-in-law. Your ex going done called somebody and told them that you answered the phone and you said something to them and you ain't even answered the phone. Collective, you was not acting a fool, you ignored someone. So, Collective, you didn't answer your phone and somebody telling somebody you answered the phone and you cussed them out or your lover saying they heard a man in the background or something, somebody lying because you didn't even answer the phone. Somebody did something for the clout. Somebody lied on y'all. But I'm getting this person did this to you in the past and they getting karma today.
So, collective, somebody was trying to take something from you for no reason. Collective, you was not acting a fool. They wanted to do something to your second house. Or this person felt as though you didn't deserve anything. So, everything this person said you did or said you said, it was for the clout. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on with the second house? Yeah, mental prison, yeah. So, collective, um... Collective, somebody put you in a mental prison about your own second house. And this person getting karma today. Or, collective, somebody's afraid. It could be the Knight of Cups. It could be your child or your lover. So, Collective, y'all could have been getting harassed. And it's like somebody's scared to even be at your house because of the, the hangman. And it's like, Collective, you didn't even do nothing. Well, Collective, somebody was saying that they was dating you and you never dated this person. And it's like your lover is scared to come to your house because the hangman said y'all was dating or something. It's like, Collective, somebody at your house and they in the mental prison because of your second house. Or it's like a, the Knight of Cups is scared to be nice to you or something because of the hangman. Or you're protecting the Knight of Cups. It's like collective you, you was in a mental prison. You didn't even do nothing. That's because somebody was trying to affect your second house. Someone who was trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness, self-limiting beliefs. That mental prison could be the Knight of Cups. Because I don't think that's the High Priestess energy. Collective, y'all could be protecting the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups could be your twin. Or something. Or somebody that's being nice to you. Or the hangman was your fake friend. So you're no longer telling the hangman anything. Because you know the hangman go mess up your connection with the Knight of Cups. Or something. Well, Collective, somebody was saying that something that's yours is theirs. So it's like, Collective, the Knight of Cups is in a mental prison about if this Four of Wands really yours. It's like the Knight of Cups is confused. Because this hangman was lying on you. Or y'all got an out of control a, a co-worker? Somebody out of control. Yeah, that, that, um, somebody might end up in jail. So, collective, say, like, I'm giving this for an example. You work at McDonald's. And the Knight of Cups is supposed to come and fix the soda machine. It's like, collective, because of what's going on with the, the hangman, the Knight of Cups, scared to come and fix the soda machine because what's going on with the Knight of Cups. So, collective, um, y'all could be at work, and that the hangman is posting stuff online. And it's like, people can see it. It's like, people scared to go up to your four wines. This Knight of Cups could be a technician or something. Or like a, a Samaritan, a good Samaritan. But it's like this person in the um, mental prison. That hangman crazy. Collector, for some of you guys, somebody might go to jail. And because this person in jail, you might have a conversation with the Knight of Cups. Collective, the Knight of Cups could be your niece, your nephew. Um, This Knight of Cups could be somebody's lover. And Collective, you being the high priestess, you're protecting somebody from that hangman. Because it's like this hangman be putting the Knight of Cups in a mental prison. So 
So collective, maybe your ex be torturing your twin or something. And you telling your twin don't even talk to your ex or something like that. Or that hang me and do dark magic or something. What's going on with this eighth house with the for the cloud? Yeah, fifth house. Somebody torment people or torture someone or do dark magic for fun.